All right, now we're going to be looking at the RGB LED um, and how to figure out how to do color mixing, all right? And this will draw PWM into the mix because we've been looking at what? Digital, then analog, digital, then analog. How can we use these against each other? How can we use them for each other? What's the difference between the two? And finally, we have serial data. Okay, so how serial data play into this? So we're going to write a script that allows me to go in and mix values of RGB to figure out what pulse width modulation is needed for colors. Let's say you needed a purple LED. Well, you can go out and buy a purple LED, um, and that would be purple always. That would be good. Or you can mix values of a certain pulse width modulation to come up with a purple LED. Case in point, I can mix some R into the mix. I can mix some blue into the mix. Okay. Now, in pulse width modulation terms, if I write um, one pin to be 20 and the other pin to be 10, I get purple or a pinkish purple. And is as I go further up the scale, let's say blue, blue, red, you start seeing that aura get a little bit more purple. Yeah. So as it gets hotter and hotter, the camera can't handle it, and all of a sudden it looks white. But in my eyes, it looks purple over here. So you just gotta be careful with, well, with my camera here, because uh, it'll turn white after just a few clicks of the keyboard. So I'm using the keyboard to change this stuff, and I can also turn it down. And mix elements of green into it. Pretty neat, right? And I would say, you know, this leads to a further lesson in what if I don't want to use this? So that's that's coming down in a later lesson and saying, hey, I don't want to use the serial send command anymore to change the values. I want something else. I want to be able to use my keyboard and mouse or something like that in order to change those values. All right, to get started, I'm going to have hardware set up in this video, and then we're going to look at uh, software setup in the next video. Just know that I have three pins here, okay? And you can kind of see it. So the first one is nine. Well, I need a thinner pen here. Uh, that's as thin as I get. Nice. So this is pin 9 right here. This is pin 10. And this is pin 11. Now, on RGB LED, we have this going on. We have 4. This one being the longest value, right? So right next to that one is going to be blue. This one's red and this one's green. And that's how I have it set up here. So the longest value one is right here. So look at your LED when you put it in your breadboard and make sure that's aligned. And then I have my negative wire going in and the negative wire ending up at that cathode. All right, so that's the setup. Set that up, and then we're going to look at writing a little bit of code here to make this all happen in the next video.